elastic channel. While exploring triangle congruence postulates like side side side, side angle side, angle side angle, and angle angle side, you probably noticed a glaring exclusion of an angle side side option to prove two triangles congruent. Now I don't have to point out the obvious that the three letter acronym system of A's and S's would lead to uh, reasoning that triangles are congruent because of the booty. And how satisfying would it be to end your proof with the angle side side acronym thinking, hey, I didn't make the rules, I'm just playing the hand I was dealt. Well, I hate to break it to you friends, but angle side side is legitimately not sufficient information for proving triangle congruence. It's not just because the acronym spells a bad word, um, and we can prove this pretty quickly with one little example. So, let's say we had two setups Close to the same as I can. Okay. So let's say we had a situation where we wanted to use um, angle, the side and the side, to prove triangles. So let's go with this angle here. It's the same as this angle here. We've got this side, which I measured, to be the same as this side. And if we follow the order of angle, then a side, and then a side, if I made the third side, or sorry, the second side over here, congruent to this side over here, is there more than one way to create a triangle where that, th uh, that second side would be the same in both triangles? So let's say we wanted to connect the dots and we made the third side and the second side here. And this was a certain length. And I wanted to make that length on that triangle the same as another length over here. Now one option is to make it look like this. I could draw this um, segment here, but I could also come out to this side. And as long as this length is the same as this length, and if I connected this side right here, now I've got two triangles that follow the path of an angle, a side, and a side, angle, side, and a side, yet they aren't congruent to one another. These are different triangles. So, angle side side in this case does not prove that those two triangles are congruent. We have two different triangles with that information marked of angle side side. Now, I will say there is one exception to this rule, um, and that is if the angle that we have is a right angle. So if I've got a right angle, and I mark a side, and I create a triangle with a third side that is the same here and here. Okay, that side being the same here and here will create a system of two congruent triangles. Okay, you might think, well, that is angle side side. It is angle side side. Um, but that doesn't work in all cases. It's only if this angle right here is a right angle. Uh, and the special case has actually got a, a name to it, a specific name. It's called the hypotenuse leg theorem, which you can find a full lesson complete with guided notes uh, on this channel. So there you have it. Angle side side, the posterior postulate that never was and cannot be. It doesn't work in all cases. So thanks for watching. Come back anytime. You'll find a growing library of content with new topics every week right here on the GMS channel. Thanks, see you next time.